And take two, action. <laughs> The way we grow food today will not be sustainable or efficient enough to support the expected number of humans on this earth. We are expected to grow from about 7 billion humans to about 9 billion humans within the next 30 years. With climate change getting worse over time, land is becoming more scarce and difficult to grow crops. Agricultural practices are becoming more dangerous where we have to use more fertilizer and water. This further damages the environment. With this soil is growing method, we can help reduce the amount of land needed to grow our crops by reducing the food demand for farmers. This will allow more of our environment to be preserved and preserve our non-renewable resource of soil. It's very inexpensive to make this, this new way of growing food. The bucket and the top are only $3 combined and then you will need water. You will also need nutrients. One of the most expensive things is their air, the air pump, which is about $30, and you also need clay, be clay pebbles. All this combined is less than $100, so you're good to go. So the first step to the procedure is you need to get your five gallon bucket. You'll also need a top to the five gallon bucket. And you'll want to uh, create a hole to fit your growing pot. And the growing pot is used to allow for the roots to grow through the, and the plants you're gonna make. And also you want to uh, drill or make four holes around the circle that you created. And these zip ties are used to uh, keep the growing pot here and stable. And uh, after you do that, you want to uh, drill a hole. And this will be for the air pump. Clean out anything because you know you don't want to uh, mess up anything you're growing or affect the water, anything that's uh, left inside. And after that, you, uh, you'll start to put your water in there. You, uh, you want to fill it up at least to uh, an inch before it touches the, the growing pot. Five minutes later. After you've added the water, you want to uh, insert your holes into the hole that you created earlier. And this would be for the bubbles. And then you want to put the air stone right here onto the end of the holes. And after that, you want to add your 15 milliliters of nutrient right here. You want to add that into the water. Okay, you want to rinse the nutrients out. And after that, this is the time you uh, will add your, uh, you start to add your clay. there are no pollinators flying around your house. Your options are a fruit that needs to be pollinated or leafy greens that does not need to be pollinated. For example, spinach or mustard greens. Because the seeds to the broccoli plant is so small, I would be inserting them into a sponge that I made a little well in, a little hole, because I don't want them to fall through the cracks of the pebbles. We don't have any. And then I would just wet this bunch and insert it in the middle of my petal, pebbles. Yep. Okay, so since I already filled up my pot with the pebbles, I just move some to the side and insert my sponge with the seeds down in there. Not too low. Not too low. Do I cover it back up? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Yay. Let's see what happens. Good job.